Hey everybody, welcome to a, another lighting tutorial in After Effects CS6. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and the last type of light I want to go over with you is the ambient light. And ambient lights are different than the uh, point or spotlight or parallel lights in the fact that they don't cast shadows, they don't have a position that matters, so if you move them around they're not going to change how the object is lit up when you move the position and they don't have like a direction or a cone or anything like that so ambient light you can think of as like the sun and it's just gonna light up everything in the entire scene no matter where it is so I'll bring up uh, an ambient light up to here layer new light and we're gonna change this to ambient Usually I like to use ambient lights when I fit, want to fill like a scene that is maybe too dark or I have a scene that's really bright for some reason and I want to lower the amount of light so I can suck out extra light. So I'll show you that. So we got the ambient light going on here. Maybe we just want to change the color of the scene a little bit so we can pick a, a different color here. Here we go. We pick a color. Maybe we can go into red or something like that. I don't know why you would really want too much of a of a, like a pink scene. So you can either brighten it up a lot. And if I do this, this guy is pretty much looking into something that's very very bright, and you can't even see the background. Or you can make it so it's uh, a lot darker. Now since you can't cast shadows or you don't have any angles intensity is the, and color are the only things that you can uh, change in your light settings so an ambient light is pretty much best used in conjunction with another light so I'm gonna create another light here and I'm just gonna make it the uh, spotlight and I'll make it 30% and white light and I'll name this one spotlight and I don't need it to cast shadows or anything like this and I don't need the uh, fall off so I've got that spotlight right there in the middle and if I turn off this ambient light this is what it looks like I'll put it right on the guy now everything else is dark black now I don't want that but I still want this spotlight on this guy without having to mess with uh, um, everything else in the scene by adding more lights and positioning them or anything like that so I'm gonna create this ambient light and adjust the settings and maybe I'll give it like a little bit of a darker increase the intensity of this light oh, I gotta turn it on so we're gonna decrease the intensity now but now we have this spotlight still on this man but everything else has been lit up also so that's the best way to use your ambient lights um, not much more to go over with ambient light no matter where you don't even have a, a choice to even uh, put them anywhere if I turn on down my light options I just get intensity and color and there's nothing else I can't even pick anything else so that's all there is to ambient lights they're basic they're simple and they're useful in conjunction mainly with other lighting I guess I I also wanted to show you about how you can use an ambient light to um, to lower the amount of brightness in your scene so maybe you have a scene where you've got a few lights in there and I'm gonna turn the turn this off you have a few lights in there and your client comes in and tells you that he wants the scene to be a lot darker so what are you going to go in and adjust the the lighting so that the uh, are you gonna adjust the, all the all the lights in there so that the client or one by one and take forever right in front of the client or you're gonna look like you know what you're doing 
and just create an ambient light and just darken the scene. So if you go into the negatives, I have it turned off again. Let's go back to our ambient light. Now if I start going into the negatives here, it's going to start taking away some of the darkness in the scene. Or actually it's going to add more darkness and take away some of the light. And there we go for that. Now I wanted to show one last thing with ambient lights. If you go ahead and change the color here, if you change it all the way to black, nothing's going to happen with your ambient light, no matter what you do. I can turn this up to a zillion and it won't do anything because the light isn't going to do anything when it's black. It's Black is the absence of light actually. So make sure you have at least some lighting going on in your uh, in your scene there. It has to be not exactly black. And uh, that might be another way you want to uh, darken the scene is be by making your ambient light a little darker instead of animating the intensity. So there's a few ways how to use ambient lights and there's not much more to say about it. So we'll end here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys learned a, a bit about uh, the different types of lights throughout the, the series of tutorials there. And then I'll go over a little bit more on how to use your lights in more advanced ways. So see you guys in the next tutorials. Have a good one.